Hello everyone, welcome back to A Life of Balance. It's great to see you again. If you're new here, please subscribe below and ring the bell so you'll know when I have new videos coming out. Today we're going to be making a snowman wreath. I've seen these done a couple of times on YouTube and Pinterest, but couldn't find them, so I'm kind of winging it as I go. But they're made from a mop head, and so um, the supplies are listed below, and we're going to start. We've taken our mop head apart, and we have these long strings. There are three of these strings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, one circle with about one and a half strings, and the other circle with just one. And that's gonna be a two parts for our body. So we're gonna start by putting some glue right in the middle here. And we're gonna put, we're gonna get our finger on so that we don't burn ourselves. And put our little edge in there and start working it around the itself. And we're just gonna put a little line of glue around each each time. We're gonna do a thin line of glue. We don't need a whole lot. And then wrap our pieces from our mop around that. And so we're just gonna work our way out in a bigger and bigger circle. the very end you do want to make sure that you leave enough of your um, I guess rope for lack of a better term to go to make a complete another loop because we're going to want to um, cover the edge of the board once we cut these out but I think I have plenty here for that yep so we're set that one's done so now we'll get our other two pieces done so we can go ahead and make our snowman. Okay, so off camera I did a little bit of prep work. I cut some pieces out, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I also cut the circles off of the um, poster board and or yeah, the presentation board. And then what we're gonna I just used a um, X-Acto knife to go around the edges really kind of a simple process and that's how those work and then now we're going to use the glue gun to add glue around the outside edge here where we ended to put our trim on the outside so we're just going to put a generous portion of glue right along the edge all the way along there Okay, so just take it and put it along our glue. And as you get to the end of your roll, back around to the beginning so that you've got the outer edge covered on all this, what we're gonna do is tip it around and we're gonna just kind of glue this off to the back here a little bit. But first of all, we need to cut it off. Um, you wanna not have a whole lot of excess, so. And then we're just going to do the other one. Okay. So now we have our two pieces done. And we're ready to connect them and make them into 
a snowman. So what we're going to do, I'm concerned about the strength of this as I'm getting ready to do it. So I'm going to get some extra things out there. Okay, so we're going to turn this over and we're going to turn our other one over and we're going to figure out exactly how we want these to overlap. And I am choosing um, on mine to kind of overlap where my edge up here is uh, and then this edge where it covers under, I'm going to put up there where I'm going to put the hat. I'm not overlapping too much, but you know, you know it, snowman, snowballs are never perfectly round, especially at the top where they have each other. So we're just going to kind of do a lot of glue right there where we're going to, where they're going to attach. So we got our glue there and we're going to put him down like that. And then what I'm going to do, to me that does not seem, I didn't think it was going to seem really, really super sturdy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I've got some large craft sticks here and I'm going to take those and put them across my pieces here to give it some extra support. So I'm just going to put a dollop of glue on each end of each of these craft sticks and then put it down so that it goes across the two pieces and kind of hold it there as it dries. You're going to have to hold it as it dries because it'll pop up because of the difference in the height of the two pieces. Okay, now while those are drying, I'm going to go ahead and work on a couple other things. I could not find a scarf that I like that wasn't outrageously expensive, so I'm kind of going to bake one. So what I'm going to do, I've got a lot of fat quarter, and I'm using a piece of the fabric from it, and I'm just going to, it's not real, real long, so I don't want to just tie it around there. What I'm going to do is I'm accordion folding the edge that's going to go attach to the back side of the um, snowman and I'm going to just basically attach them each to one end on the back side of the snowman and then I that will cause it to look like on the front where it matters that it's all bundled up on the back you know how when you take a scarf you bundle it up to wrap it around your neck it'll cause it to look like that's the case so I've got those two done and laying off to the side drying then we're going to work a little bit on our hat we're going to put it together and I've already cut there. I've already cut a couple pieces. I've got a square and then a rectangle, a thinner rectangle that I'm going to take. And then I've got a little piece of fabric I'm going to glue, I think, here. And then a little um, pick I'm going to put in about there to just kind of pretty it up a little bit. So we're going to start by gluing a pretty generous amount of glue on the back of our strip so that it can go down on the um, top of our hat. And then we're going to put some glue here where our um, piece of fabric is going to go. We're trying to keep that a little thinner because it, it'll come through the fabric if we're not careful. And then our fabric across there. And then I'm going to try to hold this edge under a little bit just to get me a clean edge up there. Hold it under about a quarter inch like that and that's probably about a half inch. Then it should be able to catch in the glue that I put in. I have to go back and touch it. 
just keep it for me a little bit cleaner line across there. And get that to go across there. And I'm actually going to roll this around this edge here so we don't see the end of it. So put a little there and a little here. And roll it around. And then the same down here. A little there. And that crack. And then a little around the top. And roll it around. Remember when you're using a glue gum to be extremely careful. I now have a band-aid on my finger because when I was doing the popsicle sticks on the back of the um, snowman, the heat actually came through the stick. I had my finger on the stick, not on the edge where the glue was, just on the main center part of the stick. And the glue actually came through the stick and burnt my finger and actually gave me a pretty good burn. So. You know, remember that hot glue is very hot and sometimes it'll come through places you don't expect it to. I'll let that dry just a little bit. Okay, and then over on this side we're going to take and we're going to... My husband had to cut him off for me because he was way too long, but we're going to take and kind of push him down in there into that foam core a little bit. Into that foam sink. And then drop a piece of glue. Now that I've got some indentation there, I'll put a little glue behind there. And we'll push it right back into that same indentation. Okay. Get some glue underneath them too, which will help a little bit. And then I'm gonna um, glue the top of this or the bottom of this piece here. Give us a point of contact up there to help a little bit with the weight so it doesn't want to fall forward too much. Okay, so now we have our hat assembled and we're going to put it on the top the same way we put the other one on the top. Put the two pieces together. So we're going to take it over here, kind of figure out where we really want it. And I don't want it quite centered, but I, um, you're going to cut out I have already cut out, but you need um, three pieces that are going to be buttons, and then we need two pieces for eyes, and several little pieces for his mouth. They're just I, I just rough cut circles here to make it look like little pieces of coal. And then we're going to put a carrot here, and I'll probably put a little bit of detail in him. I don't know. Put a carrot there. So that's kind of what we're going to look like. So we're going to set our hat about there, kind of jauntily off his head. And so I'm going to, again, look at where I'm at, and I'm going to put a generous amount of glue underneath here. that across like that and then I'm going to take these guys off because I didn't glue them yet and we're going to flip it back over and we're going to do the same thing we did on the bottom we're going to add some craft sticks up here to help stabilize and secure that piece to it and so I'm going to and then I'm going to also put these up and I'm going to go in as just as close as I can go here so I don't use very much of my fabric Put my glue down and then just put this right on there and let that dry. And we're on the back side of our fabric here, our back side of our stomach here. And put this 
right on. Yeah. And let that dry. We'll let those two dry and we'll let our hat dry and we're gonna put our popsicle sticks on the top of our hat just like we did on the top on the middle to give it just that little bit of extra support to make sure that it stays attached so i'll do that and then we'll be back to finish them off okay now that we have everything glued on the back let's get our snowman his game finally pushed together so first hold our entire little scarf here around the point down here where the two pieces come together and we're going to let it come out and we're going to then trim off so that they're both about the same length. A little longer. And then we are going to take and, and um, cut little strips in our end to be our fringe on our, on our skirt. Okay, that finishes up our scarf. So now, and we're just gonna kinda, probably let's put a couple of spots of glue in it just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. But you never know. Getting, it might get real windy out there. Take your little scarf over Put a couple of drops of glue in there. So our scarf's all set. Now then, we are going to lay out the face and buttons. Like I said, I've already cut these out. And I just cut really, really random sized circles. Really didn't pay a whole lot of attention to how big they were. And I didn't worry about making them very perfect because they're supposed to be lumps of coal so you know we know coal is not perfectly um, shaped so and then we'll put our he's gonna be so cute and so we're just gonna put a little bit of blue on the back of each of these and down we need them on our snowman. So, our snowman is all finished and ready to go out on our porch. Um, I will say uh, you need something to hang her, so um, I'm probably gonna just use um, some wire, a thin strip of wire, a little glue on the back. But other than that, he's all finished and ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and look forward to you coming back. If you have, if you're not already following us, click the subscribe button below, and ring the bell so that you can be informed of all of our upcoming videos. I look forward to seeing you again soon.